The parents of the four year old boy who shot himself while sitting in a car yesterday are free out tonight. They bonded out of the El Paso County Jail late today. They're due in court tomorrow facing charges in their own son's death and could spend decades behind bars for it. KRDO News Channel 13 Sydney Stell has been covering this tragedy in Manitou Springs from the start. She is live tonight back on Manitou Avenue where the gun went off yesterday. Sydney. If it weren't for this small memorial starting to form here in front of this Manitou dispensary, you'd never know a little boy lost his life here in this parking lot yesterday. This teddy bear left for a four year old boy who will never get to play with it. Balloons left for him too that he'll never get to see. Flowers he'll never get to touch. In an instant, the little boy lost his life in this parking lot Tuesday when he shot himself sitting in a car with his mother and younger brother. The sheriff's office is calling this a completely preventable tragedy. You know, especially when it comes to children, they got they got their life ahead of them. Uh, a lot of opportunity uh, that, you know, we have all experienced growing up and being to live our lives as adults. And uh, the, the last thing you want to happen is for a, a child to unfortunately get a hold of something uh, that removes that opportunity from them. His parents, Carlos and Ashlyn Perez, pulled up to a marijuana dispensary in Manitou Springs Tuesday around noon with the boy's younger brother in the car next to him. After his dad got out of the car, somehow the four-year-old got access to a loaded gun. He managed to fire it, ending his life. His parents arrested later that day on criminally negligent child abuse charges, resulting in a death for leaving a gun where their little boy could get a hold of it. Neither of them had a criminal record. Carlos appeared to be in the Marines with a Marine Corps license plate on his car. The young couple in their mid-20s apparently married for several years. Their bond got reduced from $10,000 to $0, a change that's yet to be explained. They were released from jail on Wednesday. A local defense attorney told us they could face between 10 and 32 years in prison if they aren't offered a plea deal. Either way, they'll spend the rest of their lives knowing their little boy is never coming home. Their other son possibly growing up without his parents. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office said it's possible that additional charges will be filed as a new law just passed that requires the safe storage of firearms. Live here in Manitou Springs, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13. Such a sad story, no matter how you look at that. Sydney, thank you.